A SIPOC has a standard set of criteria that is followed when process mapping. Firstly, we begin by defining the start and the end of the process that we are mapping. This is important as it sets a clear expectation for what is in scope and what is out of scope. For example, you could create a SIPOC for the entire mortgage application process or just for the decision in principle process. Next, we list the suppliers to the process. A supplier in this case is a person or department that supplies something that begins the process. Now, for example, this could be a customer or an internal team or even a system. The next step of creating a SIPOC is to define the inputs. The inputs are the items that are used to commence the process. It could be a phone call or a letter or an application form. The third step then is to map the high level process. It's absolutely vital that we stay at the high level. Ideally, you want to be showing the process in five to eight steps.